Hello everyone, this is the 2 and to be and this is Assassin Blue. People say killing's wrong. For me, it's a little, I guess. I'm a professional government assassin. My code name is Blue, and tonight's just a regular night on the job. The target I've been assigned is somewhere inside this castle. I bet there's an entrance on the roof. This should be easy for me. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Assassin Blue. In this Let's Play, I will be demonstrating the locations of all the targets in the game. Targets can be used to unlock extra content in the game as well as to upgrade your character. We are going to be beating all the content in the game, including the extra content in this Let's Play. As we make it to the roof here, we're introduced to the combat mechanics. You can press Z to block and press X to attack, and as you can see, you can also jump with the up arrow. Now, as that text demonstrates, if you attack just as an enemy is attacking you, you get a parry attack, or a counter attack, as you can see there. Now, let me just uh, handle this guy because he's being a bit precarious. You see, when you attack in the game, you're forced to stand still for a moment, so you must kind of commit to your attacks. And if you miss, uh, you're more likely than not going to get hit. It really depends on the AI. Anyways, as you can see, we've just gotten the third target. Um, there is actually one target in this level that's quite um, sneakily hidden. Well, let's get this guy. And it's right here. You're never gonna find that on your first time around. You have no idea how many years I've played this game and haven't been able to find that one. But now you know where it is, so you don't have to waste all that time like I did. Anyways, we're reaching the end of the first level here, and this is the final fifth target for the level. Each level has five targets to collect, and you need to collect them all to get everything unlocked. Anyways, that's level one complete. Now beginning level two. By the way, the music in this game is quite nice. All right, I'm in. Now to find the target. Piece of cake. Anywho, as you can see, you can, um, by that text, you can slide on walls and wall jump. I'm just gonna skip that enemy there. And also I hit that corner there. Uh, the collision detection in this game is a bit, eh. It's a game maker game. <laughs> However, um, game maker's actually quite uh, capable now. I mean, look at games like Undertale, for instance. This is an earlier Game Maker game. I found it originally on yoyogames.com. In the description, I'll give the Game Jolt link in case you want to play through it. The game is made by someone named Greg Lebanoff, and um, he actually has a game on Steam now, uh, CoinCrypt. And he just uh, funded a successful Kickstarter campaign for a new game called Wander Song. So it's, it's very nice to see how developers grow. As you can tell, this game's, you know... It's... His newer games are something to marvel at, but this is, it's still an accomplishment, really. It's its a, f a fun game, but you can tell it was a game made by someone who's still learning. Anyways, it took me forever to figure out that you could go through the wall to get that target, so you don't have to waste your time figuring out that. <sighs> Man, I hated that. Um, the first level of this game is very simple. All you have is these um, these ninja enemies. They take minimal amounts of hits, and they have the the blocking variant of them. As you can tell, um, you can break with a block by pressing and holding the C key. Anyways, as, up here is the final target. Sorry if I'm talking about silly stuff instead of what's going on in the game. Anyways, we're about to meet the boss. Um, we're reaching the end of level two right momentarily. <laughs> uh, just gotta take out these guys. Really, you can just jump over these guys. Um, later on, that's not really an option, but this is the first level of the game. It's supposed to be easy. Anyways, that was level two. President Riley, I presume. 
I knew they'd send someone for me. But you chose not to run? You've got guts, I'm impressed. But this is the end of the line for you. Get ready to... Did you know our last president was assassinated five weeks ago? And his predecessor had been assassinated hardly two months before that. So when they chose me to be president, I knew my turn was next. Did you think I was going to sit back and let this happen? You're sadly mistaken. I've been preparing for this. I won't be killed by the likes of you. He looks tough, but I know I'm way better. I'll just be evasive. Hit him when he's open. Alright, so here's the first instance of a boss battle in this game. Bosses have... Uh, a number of preset attacks. As you can tell, he's just doing this one over and over again. You can either block it or just jump over him. And after he attacks, like when you attack, you're open for a moment, and so the same rule applies for bosses. Here is his second attack. As we get through the battle, he'll add a third attack to in his second stage. But it, really, this boss is just a battle of um, not getting sloppy. It's really not... Um, very challenging. So you shouldn't have any issues with this boss as long as you just avoid his attacks, attack him when he's open, and don't get greedy. As you can see there, I attacked three times. Don't attack more than three times. You can get more in, but you're more likely than not going to get hit. Anyways, we're about to meet uh, the next cutscene, so let's get my reading glasses on. You're better than I thought. Eh, I'm the best there is. Arrogant dumb donkey, I'm far from finished. And as you can see, this is his second attack. Sorry, it won't be that easy. So, he is going to perform the second attack. You just jump and then attack him. Just really, you just jump for all of his attacks. Or, in the case of that one, actually, you can block it. But it's the only attack that he does that you can block. Bosses will get a lot more variants. Um, as the game progresses. As you can see, I'm kind of getting greedy here. Um, this is really the most uninteresting one. <laughs> Though, I mean, it makes sense. It's the first boss, but the bosses get actually pretty cool later on. So, we have that to look forward to. Now here's a cutscene in the game. You just um, press buttons. Quick time event, I mean. That's it. You've lost. Uh, darn it, what's the point? My death isn't going to solve anything. You only say that because you're about to be killed. I'm not here to debate life and death, Mr. Riley. I just came to do my job. And that's the end of level three. See you in the next episode.